Today we're going to look at a backhand volley. You can see this player, his left elbow is collapsed. The right hand, the knuckles are up to the sky. You could set a glass of water on the racket. Most young players that hit a one-handed backhand volley, they end up at the contact point, the moment of truth, almost hitting two-handed. You can see his left hand is working as a crutch. Now look at the angle the racket head going down. Doesn't have a backhand grip. Now remember, the grip determines the angle the racket face. The angle the racket face determines the angle the racket path. So, brain memory. He's programmed, hardwired, to let that left elbow collapse. Okay? And it's brain memory. Again, he's identical. You can see how his own head is tilted back. It's uncanny how the body matches the racket and vice versa. Angle the racket face is tilted. You'll see that from the next angle. Now look at the racket head going down. So the backhand volley balls hit three ways. Plus is strong, minus is weak, IP is in play. It's backhand volley, pure and simple, it's going to be a minus. Side view, ditto. You can see again, you can set a glass of water on the racket face. Knuckles are up to the sky. Now it's the courtesy feed. We're asking to hit down the line. Watch the angle the racket path. So right here. But what's so important is to take a young player like this, put him through a skills test, feed the ball to him appropriate to his level, and he's not going to be able to hit the target. The other thing is to film him playing a match. And what's going to happen, sure thing, is he's going to avoid the net. He's, if he is at the net, he's going to run around his backhand volley. All right, now let's go to the classroom to talk about this. The positive, I like how he's cradling the throw to the racket. Index finger on the strings, that will help with racket maneuverability, racket head awareness. Cradling the throw to the racket. Left elbow started up. Now in the ready position, center the racket. Now what he needs to do is just this movement right here. Just like a basketball player being in the gym, John Wooden, UCLA, taking blue chip athletes, and make him just pass with a chest pass. Just throwing both hands out this way. So it's not a matter of just changing the grip. He's got to change the position of his right arm from bent to straight. And he's got to do this very quickly. So now as his initial turn, he's going to change the grip and straighten the arm and be in this position. Now if he turns the body more, the body taking the racket through space, the racket will open up. But right now we'd want to have him volley where it's a bullseye. We're going to have his knuckles just like throwing darts, the knuckles is, are going to go to the, bull, to the bullseye like this in this position. Now he can go fast, he can go forward, he can have an explosive step. Action, reaction, to help him swing faster, to help him stay sideways, his left arm has to go all the way back. It doesn't come in like this and then have the racket going down and off to the side. It's physics. He needs to generate racket head speed. He needs to create momentum with his body. If he's like this, now he can move in and close in. If he's like this, we would say it's not the best coaching if a player's in this position and someone says close in. It's going to be very difficult for a player to be explosive, aggressively moving forward when the racket's going down and to the side. So it's grip, swing body. He's going to change his grip, straighten his arm, stepping forward and volley this way. Then on the low ball, he only has to open the racket face slightly. Remember the grip is the right side of number one. So his backhand volley looked like this. He's going to have to do the reps. He's going to have to get in front of the mirror. He's going to have to have someone toss some balls, get a partner. You toss me 10, I'll toss you 10. And he's going to have to change his backhand volley. 